I got an opportunity to kind of talk to him. I talked to him twice. Uh, but one time I was coming out of the comedy cellar. I was still, you know, up and coming unknown comic. And Patrice, it was Patrice O'Neill, Dean Edwards, Todd Lynn. I think those are the three of them outside. Now, Patrice and Todd Lynn both had a reputation for being savage. You know what I mean? Like they could. They could destroy you. They were, you know what I mean? They were known to discourage comics that may not have had the metal, you know? So I seen him. I seen Dean Edwards. I knew Dean Edwards. My man Rondell. So I'm walking through. I kind of don't even want to speak to anybody. I did the little piece, the tentative. Yo, peace, peace. You know, keep moving. And then uh, Patrice was like, yo, you a comic? And I was like, yeah. He said, come over here. Kick it with us. You on your little Nipsey hustle tipping out of here. And then he started chopping it up, asked me a little couple questions, and then just had me in the fold. They in front of the cellar, and it's just people walking through, and Patrice is destroying everybody to come through. Like, just funny shit. I remember this was before Barack was, was elected, so it was this black dude in some, some tight khakis, and like an Oxford, it was kind of, you know, he kind of looked a little corny with it. It was like, yo, look at your man Barack Luther King over here. I just remember that I was like, damn. This was before anybody was doing Eddie Barack shit. I was like, damn. He's just a funny dude. It was, it was the total opposite of what I expected. You know what I mean? He was real cool. And then I met him again the last weekend that he did Caroline's before the stroke. And uh, that was a great show. He was, I mean, he was a beast. It's a... It's a hell of a loss, you know? It's, uh, it's sad. I mean, there's, a, there's plenty of stuff out there for anybody that wants to get into Patrice O'Neill. He's, he's got a hell of a special elephant in the room, and he's got, he's got a couple albums out. You know, that's the thing about comedy. For comedians, it's like any other art form or anything else. We're on the ground. So we see the next hot comics before the masses see them, before they become mainstream, before they come household names, you know what I mean? You see people, you see, I remember seeing Kevin Hart on a Wednesday night working out bits for his first special. And it's like, you know when they're dope before everybody else is. So when they get their due, you're like, yeah. And then sometimes when, it, when just before they're gonna be super big, they lose, you know, they die or whatever, it's like, ah, oh, it's unfortunate, you know? But I always encourage people to, to go reference, you know, go check these people out because they're still funny as hell, you know.